So yeah, we getting ready to see some some crazy shit take place, brother. It's gonna be a beautiful thing to see, all right? Papa Rathas are willing. You know what I'm saying? We all enduring to the end. All right, and we be those those men, all right? That hope for elect, all right? Cause somebody gotta be them men. All right, why not us? All right, we confident in it, all right? We don't boast in it, but you know what I'm saying? We confidently feel that we are those men, all right? Somebody got to be the elect. Who else can it be, all right, besides the apostles and elders? All right, a great millstone, all right, and, and the men on down. All right? So now, uh, let me continue on. I said it, I called it, uh, the works that thou do, thou shalt do greater. Let me get that. Yeah, it's John 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. All right. So the elect of Yahweh Bashim is going to be good, all right, during these times. All right. The scriptures say, My servant shall eat, and uh, ye shall be hungry. My servant shall rejoice. All right. Let me get that. I don't want to butcher it. Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus said the Most High Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right. So again, the men of the Lord are going to be fine. All right. No worries, all right? Let me go to Job chapter 5. All right. I'm going to jump down to verse see, uh, 19. It say, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in the war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and sin not. I mean, and shall not sin. All right, so again. Then you know, all right, the men of the Most High are going to be good, all right? They said the men of the Most High's children are going to be good, all right? Let me see, uh, did, I, did it say that? Yeah. It's one where it says, Thy children shall not see hell. Let me see, uh, let me get that. Right, and hell means uh, destruction and the grave, right? Meaning your house from outside is going to deliver those uh, of his chosen. This is sick in Israel, chapter 2 and 20 and 9. It say, My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. All right, so again, the men of the Lord and the, and the families of the men of the Lord are going to be fine, all right? We are going to have our moment of temptation, you know what I'm saying, where we're going to be tried, but. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bashmi was shy. Clearly said, think not, meditate not upon what you're gonna say in that day. It's gonna be given to you in that hour. Because it's the it's gonna be the Holy Spirit that, that gives us what to say. Alright, so we don't have no worries, alright? We just come out here, do as we commanded. Alright, preach and teach, put up our videos through the week. You know what I'm saying? Make our prayers and supplications, you know what I'm saying? Tell you how Bashmi was shy. Be brotherly to the brothers, all right? And hope and pray.
pray that we of the elect, all right? That's pretty much our life, all right? We don't look to make it in this fucking place. We don't look to thrive in this fucking place. We don't look to save this fucking place, all right? We ready to get the fuck up out of here, all right? You know, when all of this shit that's going on is going on, you know what I'm saying? We rejoicing at this shit, all right? We want Esau to fucking get, keep getting physical and putting his knee on you fucking two-thirds necks, all right? We want you people to keep going out there protesting so these motherfuckers can get mad and rev their cars up and mow you down in the street because you didn't went down to Egypt for help, all right? And the scripture clearly say, if you go down to Egypt for help and trust in Egypt, the trust in Egypt is going to be your confusion, all right? That's going to be your goddamn undoing to you two-thirds, all right? But you've already been numbered to the sword anyway, all right? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we watching this thing play out, all right? And we don't get emotional about seeing Esau, you know what I'm saying, destroy you niggas, all right? We understand Esau is the sword of the Most High, all right? That's in Psalms 17 and 13, all right? says, Arise, O Most High, yet how will disappoint him, cast him down, deliver thy, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, all right? So the wicked is the sword of the Most High, and you know who the wicked is, go to Malachi chapter 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 4, when it says, they are the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Most High, Yahweh hath ended nation forever, all right? Esau is the wicked, all right? Malachi chapter 1, going to start at verse 2. It say, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein is thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. So that's then you know the most I hate you, Esau. <laughs> and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom, the children of Esau, saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the most high, Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Most High Yahweh has indignation forever. All right. So it says the Most High has indignation, meaning righteous hatred, which you goddamn devils forever. All right. And the scriptures also say the Most High is going to have war with Amalek from generation to generation. All right. <clears throat> and Amalek is the chief house of Esau, all right? Th that's those fakes in that land right now, you know what I'm saying? Thinking they the people of the land who uh running, you know what I'm saying, Hollywood and all of that shit, all right? Those, those are those people who got Will Smith, you know what I'm saying, looking sad and depressed, you know what I'm saying, while his woman out here, you know what I'm saying, giving, up, giving that thing out to any and everybody, you know what I'm saying, community box, all right? Only in a, in a world governed by the devil, all right, can a woman openly commit adultery, all right, and, and, and she gets glorified for it, all right? They wasn't divorced, you know what I'm saying? Separated some shit. They were still fucking married, all right? And the scriptures say, uh, let no man break apart where Yahweh had bought together, all right? So if this was a God-fearing country, you know what I'm saying? Them fuckers being brought together, meaning, you know what I'm saying? She's his wife, all right? And a woman cannot divorce a man, according to the Bible, all right? A man can divorce a woman, but she cannot divorce him, all right? He can put her away, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But not just for no any fucking thing, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? This nigga looking sad as fuck right now. She's getting glorified. She's laughing, you know what I'm saying? I think it said that bitch had the number one sit down on, on Facebook view. I mean, I think some shit like that. She had like 12 million views or, or some shit, the most viewed. Uh, whatever you want to call it, in Facebook history and shit, you know what I'm saying? She, she's getting some kind of upliftment, you know what I'm saying? And she's getting pushed out there more in the public for this, all right? And look at Will, look how he's looking, you know what I'm saying? He got all his fucking two-thirds celebrity buddies clowning the shit out of him, making memes about him and shit, you know what I'm saying? That man looks destroyed, all right? And that's what that nigga get, you know what I'm saying? Because here it is. Will Smith is not a bad looking dude, you know what I'm saying? Pretty sure this nigga could get with any fucking woman he wanted to get with, all right? He's in Hollywood. He's a well-known actor, all right? He's got his face anywhere. He can walk in a room, and you're going to instantly know who he is, all right? But this motherfucker put all his trust and his faith into that wicked-ass woman, and look at what she did to him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't turn his kids out. You know what I'm saying? He didn't sold that himself because, you know what I'm saying, he's had to do what he had to do as well. The, the 
keep his place, all right? But you see now, he's, he's seeing now that it wasn't worth it, all right? He's seeing, all right, that he did all of that just to get, you know what I'm saying, slapped in the face in the end, all right? And for it to be fucking with his spirit, all right? The only time he's actually able to necessarily just show his manhood and to be a, to show his manly side is when he's making his movies, all right? Like his bad boys, all right? And his I Am Legend type movies, all right? That's when you see him in his manly role, but in the way you see him now, all right? He's effeminate, all right? He's all soft-spoken and shit, you know what I'm saying? He had to sit at a table and look at his woman, his wife, literally, boast about being in a fucking relationship with a whole nother man, all right? And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and he had to sit there and watch that shit, all right? She wasn't even contrite about that shit. That bitch went as far as to say, she had the, uh, he didn't have no say so in her having a, 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 a sexual sexual relationship with, with that other dude, all right? It was all up to her, all right? And he sat there and just let that, let her say that shit, you know what I'm saying? Just going to show you two thirds, you know what I'm saying? You need the one third to come, you need the elect and the one third to be ruling, all right? You need to be put down on this side and born again to the men of the Lord, all right? That way you'll be righteous, all right, because if, if, if this world was left to be governed and ran by you weak-ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Man. Uh, uh, uh. Man. It wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be no men left, all right? But, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. That's a lot was going on, you know what I'm saying, in the nigga news, all right? <laughs>